So a viewer said, I've got all these documents, got to protect my identity, but I want you guys to expose what Cigna's doing on the show. So what do we do? We call in our greatest correspondent. Of course. The great Carolyn Ryan. She's here in the free state of Florida. You saw her on set in West Palm. Uh, where in the world are you today, I wonder? And what's going on with Cigna? Good morning. Hey, guys. Yeah, I'm actually down in beautiful Fort Lauderdale. I've got a little uh, sunshiny uh, okay. background here. So, yeah, this was a, a really uh, interesting story to dig into that you reference. And, you know, obviously, as we all know, propaganda of the day, whether it's transgender issues or it's BLM, it's just really being forced into every aspect of our lives, schools, a fashion magazines, uh, cartoons, beer, our military. So it's really no surprise that it's being force fed to employees uh, through HR departments and health insurance programs as well. So we got this email from a viewer. I sent a detailed email to tip us off about uh, all of this. We're not going to name him, but uh, he said that his new HR manager is extremely biased, woke, in other words, with trans flags and BLM imagery plastered all over her uh, social media. Well, she started assigning employees to watch these instructional webcasts through the company's insurance provider, Cigna. Now, a lot of companies we know do this as part of sort of continuing education or various wellness programs. Now, this viewer says that once he got to Cigna's website and started perusing the list of wellness webcasts that were available for Cigna participants, he noticed some concerning content. There were videos that had titles like, quote, coping with the impact of racial injustice, which is a video that's centered all around the death of George Floyd. Another one was, quote, gender transition in the workplace, which, of course, talks about gender not just being binary, male and female, but rather a wide range of genders that and that if a person wants to use a certain pronoun, for example, in the workplace, it's non-negotiable. Here's a clip from each of these webinars. Listen. The death of George Floyd was heartbreaking, heartbreaking to witness over and over again, and it only creates a new trauma. So we're talking a little bit today about trauma and racial injustice. It triggers past traumas for many when a human being whose skin is black once again dies at the hands of those charged with protecting the public. If I'm stepping through a gender transition of some type, perhaps that's even only a name change or, or, or a pronoun change, then I need and want my coworker to know that that's not negotiable, <laughs> that that is, that is um, what I'm putting forth and that needs to be honored. So the problem here from this viewer's perspective is that you have health insurance companies as big as Cigna providing these woke webinars, pushing racist ideology and transgender propaganda. And the information in the videos is presented as indisputable fact, when in reality, the information is subjective and it's a lot of times scientifically unsupported. Yet employees are being forced to sit through these as a condition of employment. It's really a predicament for countless Americans right now. Uh, and they feel like they can't express their objections to any of this content. Uh, otherwise, they fear retribution, retaliation, or perhaps even losing their jobs. 